And hi everyone, my name is Stormy the Fulf, and today, well, rather tonight, since it's like 10 p.m., I'm gonna try some Canadian snacks that my friend Rolf has sent me in a prior fan mail video. But yeah, without further spado, let's uh, torture my taste buds and see what happens. Pro tip if you're trying out new foods of any sort, always keep a bottle of water handy, especially for someone like me who has an eating disorder and is a super picky eater. So yeah, <laughs> this should be interesting. I have never had any of these uh, foods before besides the Smarties, which they just tasted like uh, knockoff M&Ms for some reason. But yeah, we'll get into that. Starting off with the Lay's ketchup potato chips. I've actually heard a lot of great things about these. Uh, I don't think I've ever had them before though. Like I've heard of people in Canada who are like claim they're like the holy grail of all potato chips. Also, should I be eating these? Because uh, you know, I'm a potato myself and isn't that technically cannibalism? Let's just hope the gods aren't watching. Right, Hmm. Eh. what do they smell of? It literally smells like McDonald's fries and ketchup put together. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> oh God, that's strong. Yeah, it literally smells like a McDonald's uh, restaurant. And I actually like McDonald's fries and ketchup. So this is not good. I, I am a potato. Why, do, why am I eating my people? Please don't tell anyone about this. I mean, y'all are good at keeping secrets, right? Let's uh, see what they taste like. Ah. Mmm. Huh. It literally tastes like a fry with ketchup already on it. Oh my god. So, um, which really isn't all that surprising when you consider that fries are made from potatoes and these are potato chips and I, myself, are made from potatoes. And, uh, yeah, cannibalism is bad. Uh, <laughs> and I am a bad doggo. Mmm. Mmm. Actually, it's pretty good. They kind of remind me of, uh, dill pickle chips. Ah, uh ah. -huh. <laughs> yeah, they're really good. Yeah, so, um, all right, so far, I totally recommend these. Yeah, um, so anyway, we're moving on to the next, uh, product. Um, um, just a minute. We'll eventually get to the other bags of potato chips. Uh, right, next, we're gonna try out these Ruffle All Dressed Up potato chips. Uh, I think the marketing's a little misleading. I don't see any dressing or any kind of outfit on these potato chips, but maybe that's like a Canadian thing that I just don't understand. <laughs> Cause I am from the US, I'm American. Canadians aren't Americans, they're Americans. Like where I'm from, it's America. What do they smell of? Oh, they just smell like uh, plain potato chips actually. Like no real flavors popping out at me. But let's see what they taste like. Hmm. Yeah, they don't look anything particularly special, but maybe they'll taste special. Ah. Mmm. Hmm. That is a really strange flavor. Oh. 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 Oh no. I'd... Oh no. Mm -mm. No. No. Oh. Okay. Um. There's something about these I really do not like. <laughs> they taste like bacon. <laughs> they literally taste like bacon flavored potato chips. Maybe my taste buds are broken. Wait a second. I see onion. Is that salt? I, I don't know what that is. And a tomato. I didn't taste any of that. I tasted bacon. So I think my taste buds are broken. <laughs> Hanana's very own. You'll enjoy this bag of Ruffles All Dressed Chips if you enjoy unique Canadian food. Well, apparently I don't enjoy unique Canadian food. I'm a bad American. You're seeking something sweet and salty and savory all in one bag. Yeah, it just tasted like bacon to me. <laughs> you love eating chips that will make your taste buds feel like they are going to explode. Yeah, mine felt like they were going to explode in a very bad way. And I say this as someone who actually likes Ruffles chips. I like I like the cheddar and sour cream flavor quite a bit, but this, something about this just does not sit right with me at all. Probably because I don't like bacon. I have shamed my Canadian friends from up above because I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, Rolfus. <laughs> that one's gonna have to be a no from me. Uh, next we have, Moving on to something sweeter, I want to try out this, uh, Mr. Big Bar. Um, doesn't really look like it's a big bar, though. It's kind of misleading. Maybe Canadian marketing is just something else entirely. Uh. <laughs> it looks like poop. <laughs> it looks like a turd. So, because this could become a sticky situation very quickly, I am going to remove my blepper. I need to wash this blepper anyway, so... Eh. Oh, dear. I'm gonna try my very best not to make a mess here. Mm. Mmm, 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 mmm. That is really good. Oh my God, I look terrifying without my tongue. <laughs> so 
It's like chocolate, caramel, some kind of bready substance. I don't know what it is, but it's very crunchy. Uh, and it's very soft and crunchy at the same time. Soft and crunchy. Uh, Schrodinger's chocolate bar, I guess. But it's really good, though. It packs a whole lot of flavor, so maybe that's why it's called Mr. Big. Uh, big things come in small packages. So, yeah, I quite like this one. Uh, next up, we have some more chocolate. Crispy Crunch. This one has more of an actual shape going on to it. It looks like a rectangle. No, 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 no. It kind of looks like a bed. <laughs> like, here's the frame at the bottom and this is like the mattress at the top or maybe this is a gigantic pillow our bed's actually gigantic pillows shut up stormy and eat the chocolate mm, 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 mm. okay now that one was almost too hard for me to bite in so um i have fake teeth and if i bite on something too hard it could end in a very bad way but um the crispy crunch tastes like a butterfinger tastes a lot like a butterfinger i really like it i just wish my teeth would cooperate with it <laughs> Like I was able to bite into it just barely. So I have to be careful. That was really good. I like the crispy crunch as well. By the way, I would not recommend eating in fursuit unless you know exactly what you're doing <laughs> because getting certain types of foods and chemicals out of fursuits uh, can be next to impossible. So please be really careful, especially if you have a white fursuit like mine. So next up, we're going to try the hot rods. Now I'm kind of scared about this one because these kind of look like the licorice things that I had a few videos back with my friend Zerfy. And I really did not like those. I couldn't bite into them either. So there was that. <laughs> I just remember them being really salty, but these are apparently high in protein, which is a very good thing. I do have a protein deficiency. I have all the deficiencies. What am I saying? I don't eat enough during the day and yet I'm somehow still chunk. How does that work? Diets make no sense. Um, okay. Okay, they look kind of like beef jerky sticks, but do they smell like beef jerky sticks? Oh yeah, it actually smells like pepperoni. <laughs> I'm not really big on meat, but I will gonna take one for the team. <laughs> mm. Oh, okay. I can bite into that. That's really soft. So, uh, oh, 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 oh God. Mm. Oh, oh God. <laughs> so it tasted like pepperoni and then my gag reflex kicked in like 100%. So I am very weird when it comes to things like pepperoni and meat in general. I gotta have something mixed in with the meat or otherwise my gag reflex just like kicks in like, and I'm like, oh my God, no. <laughs> I like pepperoni pizza, but if I just have the pepperoni without the pizza, the same thing will happen. I, I really can't explain it. I don't know why my brain is like that. I don't know why my tongue is like that or lack thereof. It actually tasted really good. And then my gag reflex was like, um, where's the rest of this? Where's the sauce? Where's the cheese? Where's the cream feeling? And I'm like, oh God, no. It's, it's really unfortunate because I, I kind of like that. Uh, moving on to the next product, we have Hawkins Cheesies. And not sure if you can hear that. They have a hole in them, but I may try to just lick one just to see what it tastes like. Now they just look like uh, regular Cheetos and smell just like them too. So I'm willing to bet they're gonna taste just like regular Cheetos. Uh, also, I don't like Flaming Hot Cheetos. I don't know why some people are so obsessed with spicy food. And then there's me that can't handle any spicy food. <laughs> uh, I may have to spit this out because I'm pretty sure it's rock hard. Oh, okay. That's actually not stale at all. Was there actually a hole in these or was my brain messing with me? Because they don't taste stale in the slightest. They taste fantastic. I mean, they don't taste anything different from regular Cheetos actually. So yeah, they taste just like regular Cheetos. So I do like Cheetos. So therefore I approve of these. <laughs> Next up, we have the Macintosh bar. You may notice something a bit peculiar about this bar. It is rock hard. I'm having concerns about this, so. Let's see if I can actually bite into it. Oh, oh, is it just like one big bar of it? It, 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 doy. it says toffee on the front, you dingus. I can't raid. I have the attention span of a goldfish. So let's see if I can snip part of this off because I do not trust myself biting into this. Oh dear, that is not. <laughs> <laughs> so I cut off a piece and it just ricocheted across the room. <laughs> Come on. So, got the tiniest piece, the tiniest morsel of the Macintosh. <laughs> what does an apple Macintosh taste like? Hmm. Uh, hmm. Oh dear. Oh, oh, oh God. I, can, I can't even chew on the tiny piece. It just gets stuck. 
Ugh, toffee does not cooperate with my teeth. Like, it doesn't hurt or anything, it just gets stuck. <laughs> Oh, that would make sense because I have a big piece of plastic in my mouth and I'm trying to chew on what feels like a big piece of plastic. So, yeah, I mean, it tastes like toffee, tastes like caramel. It's okay. Um, not my favorite thing in the world, maybe mainly because I can't chew on it. <laughs> so, ugh, I probably would have liked it a whole lot better if I could actually chew on it. But toffee stuff in general, I have always had problems with. <laughs> and I say that with my brand new teeth. I still can't chew on it. And that was like the tiniest piece, so possible that it could have expired because it is like super duper hard like yeah and next we have another caramel product which is the Cadbury caramel like a milk chocolate bar with caramel uh but yeah um looks kind of fancy and elegant like it has the Cadbury logo on it and it just looks like a regular chocolate bar from the outside but does it taste like an actual chocolate bar hmm mm. hmm okay that is really really good that is Muy delicioso. I remember a little bit of Spanish. <laughs> That's fantastic, actually. That's a really, really smooth texture. And it's, of course, it has a lot of caramel in it. But it's liquid caramel. That means it doesn't get stuck in my teeth. Mmm. Mmm. I think I'll have another go at this. <laughs> That's really good. Mmm. Mmm. God, that's delicious. Okay, I really like the caramel bar. That's like 10 out of 10 right there. And next we have the Cadbury Wonder Bar. Is it wonderful? Is it exquisite? Is it all things amazing? Will it pay off my credit card bill? One can hope. Uh, this one kind of looks like a turd too. Getting all the poop candy tonight, apparently. Mmm. Uh. Oh my God. Okay, this is living up to its name. Holy heck. That is wonderful. Literally, because it's the Wonder Bar. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, I've died and gone to heaven. Holy god. Oh, this one is so good. That's my absolute favorite out of the bunch so far, the Wonder Bar. 10 out of 10. I want more of these. And lastly, we have the Smarties. Not to be confused with American Smarties, these are chocolate. And if you don't know what American Smarties are about, here's a rough example. Our regular Smarties aren't actually this big. This is like the jumbo sized, AKA the most American thing I'll ever show on this channel. Got chocolate Smarties and uh, American Smarties, which are basically like really sweet candy things. So yeah, let's try out these Canadian Smarties. We have our blue Smartie. Mm. Mm. And mm. it's like I said from one of my older food videos, it tastes like an off-brand M&M. Like it tastes like an M&M, but not quite an M&M. Maybe it's like a C and C or something. I don't know because C stands for Canada. 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 <laughs> These are Canada M&Ms. <laughs> they're not M&Ms. They're Canada. So. Yeah, I like the Canadianas, but I like the m &Ms better, so. But yeah, I do like the Canadian Smarties. It's just, they're not my favorite thing. They're pretty good. They're just not my favorite in the world. So, yeah. But that wraps up this random Canadian testing video thingamabob. I am working on a lot of projects, but I'm also working on a lot of personal problems behind the scenes. A lot of y'all probably know what's going on. It's mostly good. It's just, uh, lots of self-discovery for lack of better words. But yeah, I need my tongue back. I'm tired of looking at an empty void of a mouth. <laughs> so, eh. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, leave a comment, and if you'd like to send me some foodies to try, you can send it to this P.O. Box address listed on your screen. Anyway, I'm tired, it's hot, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. And a big shout out goes out to Felix, my newest holy patron. Seriously, thank you all so much for supporting my content. If you want to join this lovely potato crew for perks like Discord server access, early access to videos, and more, consider supporting me on my Patreon.